Hi and welcome back to our second video on creating a responsive WordPress theme using iThemes Builder. Now uh, what we're up to now in this particular video is going through and styling the look of our website using the Style Manager. Um, but just before I get started, uh, one thing I actually did address in the last video was the fact that when you install the latest version of Builder, it's actually already responsive. If you see me changing the size here, you'll see that everything is actually rearranging and that widget has now disappeared and popped up down the bottom there. So um, the actual responsive nature of this theme is uh, already inherent the second you install the Builder theme. So, However, one thing that isn't available straight away is the Style Manager. As you can see, we have Start Here, Settings, Layouts and Views, but no Style Manager. That's because it's actually a plugin that you install separately. It is available free with the Builder. Once, when you buy it, you don't have to pay any extra for it. So um, we'll head into the Plugins area, just down here. And we'll actually upload a new plugin. So we go to Add New, Upload, and then choose a file. And we've got the Style Manager here, ready to go. Open, Install Now. As you can see, I can now activate the plugin. And straight away, we have a Style Manager. So we just click into here, and as you can see, there's a sample style there, but I'm not going to play around with that too much. Or, Although, maybe just for the sake of this video, I will actually apply that so it's global. So let's just refresh that. As you can see, we've got some blue text and a, a few bits and pieces, but nothing nothing really out of this world so far. Uh, the text here has actually gone white, so the, the, they haven't actually coloured the background of the widget in this sample style, but... Um, Anyway, we can get to that later on. The navigation's changed, but let's let's have a bit of a muck around with it. So, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this style. So, we want to keep that base style. We're going to create our own style. We'll call this one video style. Since we're on the video, so we're going to actually click into this style. We want it to become the global style. As you can see, we've got a little preview window here, which shows us generally what we're looking at the website. So um, probably the first thing I'm going to do is just uh, have a quick play around with the back site background. Now, if you've got a, a few skills in Photoshop or a nice photo, you can actually get a, a really pretty nice effect out of just playing around with the background colors uh, or background images, that sort of thing of a website. So first of all, let's say you want to change the color of the website background to maybe a dark blue. As you can see, the background here has changed. If I save that now, I can go back and refresh the main website, and the background color of the website has changed. Now we don't want to be going back and back and forth and refreshing this every single time we make a change, so we'll only go back and forth sparingly while we're looking at this. So let's say that blue color. We'd much rather have something uh, a little bit nicer than just a blue color. So let's upload an image. As you can see here, image is set to none. I can actually grab an image oh, straight away. It's already just brought up an image from the, from the memory. So you can see we've got a bit of a grungy image there, but just for now, we're going to try a different image. Choose file. We'll try this blue wall here. Save. Straight away, we've got a nice image there in the background. So. Uh, you can see just how easy it is just to obviously create a background image and create something unique. But uh, let's say as we scroll, we don't want the image to move. We want it to stay in the same position. We can actually go fixed. And as we scroll up and down, that background image stays where it is. But for now, we'll turn that off. You can set it to repeat horizontally or vertically, you know, whatever floats your boat. And um, you can position it anywhere in the page you want to, to start off with. So the next thing I'm going to look at, uh, I will go back into more of the background, but I'm just going to address this widget section here, which is actually, uh, for some reason, has white text, but no background color. So uh, you can see that if I minimize this, there are all these different areas that we can customize. And these all have similar settings, some are slightly different than others. Uh, it just gives you full control over the color and layout of pretty much the entire website. And it's actually fairly impressive. So. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to look for uh, the widget styling. I 
you get a module sidebars. As you can see here, we've got a background color option here. Let's say we want to make that just a little bit off, like a gray, that sort of thing. And uh, that's all we're going to do for now. We can also change here some of the text links, that sort of thing. And make them blue. We can change the titles and that sort of thing. So text, color, let's make that say gray. And you can see that some of these colors here have actually changed. So we'll sort of, you get the idea with that one there. Um, it's the same again for the navigation. If you do want to change some of these colors, you can go to like the navigation section, navigation module, and say so we want that background to be darker, we can actually go for a nice, really dark grey, that sort of thing. So there we go. So once again, we're going to save this. As you can see, we've got the option to save the style or to save and continue editing. Once again, if we save the style, it'll take us back to the list of styles. But because we want to keep editing this style, we're going to save style and continue editing. I'm going to head back to the main page here and refresh. And you've got a fairly nice looking website. Obviously this repeat here isn't optimal, but you get the idea. You can always change the repeat settings. One thing I do like about using background uh, images on websites is it's quite easy to get a uh, desired effect with certain images. If you want to change that image again, you can choose this one here. This is an image that is designed to repeat uh, vertically down the page. So I'll open that, save. So positioning, we want this to be top center and we want it to repeat vertically. So as you can see here, it just looks white, but if I scroll down and save and then refresh again, you can see we've got a bit of an effect here, like a bit of a, just a narrow effect going down the page. And um, that's something I think is quite easy. You can do the opposite effect with uh, a color going across the page and actually just uh, create an image that is say a couple of hundred pixels tall and actually repeat it horizontally to get the opposite effect of some, something going across the page. So for now, uh, we'll keep, we'll change the site background to something a bit more generic. So this little grungy wall, save that. Okay. So Let's say we're not really too fond of a really light colored website. It is quite easy to change the look of this page to give it like a dark background, white text, and just completely alter the look of your website. See, at the moment, we've got everything's really light colored. Uh, obviously, the background should be different, but we won't refresh that just now. Um, and it's just really light in nature. Some people out there like to have a really dark website, so we're just going to have a look at how you can achieve that effect also. So we'll just uh, minimize the background there and we'll go to site font. I'm going to change the color to white. As you can see, the white text on the white background has disappeared, but we'll address that soon. Go to links. You can change your links to say maybe a gray or something like that. Something nice and light. Close those two up. What we want to look for now is the content module. We can change the background then to a much darker color. Straight away, you can see you got a, a bit of a different looking site here, the nice dark colors, um, that sort of thing. Now, obviously, you might not be too happy with the fonts, so this is where site fonts is actually really quite pre impressive in this uh, builder theme. So you can see you've got a decent list of font styles here. You can click on one. Once you've clicked on one, you can then use your up and down arrows to scroll through until you find one you're actually quite happy with. Once you're happy, if you want to make it slightly bigger, you can choose to enlarge it a little bit, or you can even make it slightly smaller sort of thing. But for now, we'll leave it at 100. Um, so yeah, let's just save that one. We'll go back and we'll refresh. Once again, the website's looking almost completely different. So you can see just how easy it is to change all these bits and pieces. Some of this stuff is looking a bit, fun looking a bit funny with the yellow text. We might want to fix that. Um, same with this widget area here. So once again, we'll go into the module sidebars and we might even darken up that background a bit again. So we'll darken up. We'll make that black. And then we'll 
just minimize that. We'll head down to the widget bar module. The text here. See, the text is actually yellow at the moment. We're going to change that to white. And we're also going to change that background again to a nice black. So everything looks nice and uniform. As you can see, you have got similar text options here. You can change the font individually. Let's just choose a random font and just a, something different than the rest of the page. We can choose to center, justify. You've got all, all the options there you'd normally find in any text editor. Uh, you can add borders. Let's say you want to add a white border, which might not look too great, but that's just down the bottom of the page. So uh, we'll save that one. And we'll just head on back. We'll just head on back and we'll refresh. As you can see, things have only changed slightly. Our font has changed. We've got our black widget section again now. And we also have this area here, which has gone black. I have actually changed the wrong part of the the wrong part of the widget area there. I've actually only changed the title section. So that just shows you just how specific you can get with this. So let's head back into the widget bar module. As you can see, widget titles, I've actually changed that to black. And I should be looking at the background here, changing that to black. But that just shows you what you can do. If you wanted to create something different down here, you can actually create a bit of a shadow or some kind of texture behind the widget titles, that sort of thing. So you've really got a lot of options. Of course, we can always check here. And you can see we've got that white border that we were looking at before. So, so and it doesn't just end there. You can always go back to your layout editor and change a few bits and pieces. Obviously, you've got, uh, you know, you've got your little image up here, but you can make things different again. You can go back, uh, just for the sake of this, we'll open this in a new tab, layouts and views. Switch that to there. Go to our right sidebar. If we want to, we can actually move the navigation up. I'll just remove that module, add it again. Navigation, add WordPress pages. And even modify the settings of this header image. Change that to something with a bit more of a logo background. Change it to that one there. Save. So you can always go back and change any setting from anywhere. It's actually really handy, so uh, you get the idea there. So that's the good thing about this style manager here. You can change every little bit and piece of your website uh, with the precise bit of control down to colors, backgrounds, fonts, that sort of thing. And you, you can come up with anything you want, basically. Uh, with the power of the layout builder and the styles, which I'll just refresh this, you can see you can get quite a nice looking website. Uh, I've only spent 10 minutes on this, but a little bit more time, you can create something really, really unique. Uh, basically, yeah, there's not, not really any limit to what you can do with this. There is also another section uh, on the next video we're going to cover, which is foundation themes. Now, foundation themes are pre-designed themes that do look slightly different. Uh, you can change the look of them in the exact same fashion. However, they do have a few slightly different options and a few different styles, like uh, you can make images full width, that sort of thing. And um, yeah, you can really have a bit of fun with it. So as you can see, what we've got here is very basic. Once you add a few bits and pieces into your widget section, um, you can add the thumbnails. We'll head back into layouts for a second. If you head up to extension, you can then set to have your image on the left. Uh, as you can see, you've got different options. You have the options, you have the image on the right, that sort of thing. For now, we'll put the image on the left. Save that. Head back and refresh. As you can see, we've got nice little images here next to these blog posts. So you've really got just about any option you can think of between those two panels, which is really fantastic. And then to top it off, the foundation theme just gives you that little bit of extra uh, customization. So uh, thanks for watching this video once again. If you want more information, please head to www.designwebidentity.com slash builder, and we'll go from there. You can get more information, uh, link to where you get the product. Also, um, yeah, don't forget to check out our next video on foundation themes. Thanks for watching.